how I say it every time. Sorry for my English because I study just from training, from practice. No teachers, nobody. And uh, I really want to know this language, but I make some mistakes. And if, if I do something, you should uh, understand me right. Uh, I first time in Hungary, and uh, yesterday uh, we arrived. First of all, about where we are right now. Uh, with help of Limitless, thank you, exclusive uh, for Jeremy, Ili, and Edward that give this opportunity to blockchain sport to our team to grow because with their help we can grow more faster. We can grow uh, like like big big company. Today we are more than 17 IT companies uh, in more than seven countries, and uh, uh, we are near. 1,000 developers in uh, Web3, AI, and uh, computer vision uh, technology. We are the biggest company right now uh, about AI developments in Europe uh, and in CIG regions. What's mean biggest? It's not about number of people. It's uh, uh, mean about number of uh, high-level uh, guy with uh, senior uh, level of development. Uh, today we are more than 250 guys whom we invite from all over the world, from Google, from YouTube, from OpenAI, from uh, JP Morgan, from Morgan Stanley, and this guy will work today in blockchain support ecosystem. All of them are located in uh, Belarus. Why in Belarus? Because in Belarus we are the, uh, it's our like center, it's our core of developments, and uh, all main guys work there. About blockchain, uh, Atleta, uh, we launched testnet in previous week. Uh, you know that when you launch testnet, it's not one day, it's near one month because you uh, uh, connect all technology, you like uh, work with mistakes, you work with bugs, and uh, step by step you uh, stand up to your head like, and uh, start life. We like today. And uh, a lot of a lot of influencers in all over the world uh, with huge name, a lot of foundation, a lot of companies start speaking about that level. And we have a lot of news uh, in Bitcoin talk, in uh, Telegraph, Coin Telegraph. It's the biggest platform, and uh, this is a platform where you can't buy news. They write on the truth. They write about bad project, they write about good project. And uh, thinking about te Coin Telegraph, that blockchain Atlanta have all chance to be uh, one of the most uh, technologically uh, blockchain and come to top three blockchain in 2024 in the world. <laughs> what does it mean for us? It means that we are in bull market right now. Bull market. Uh, all community from crypto, they try to find best project where they can come and uh, allocate uh, their budget. If they saw the blockchain grow, if they saw that this is project good and he had a lot of good future, it means that all of them will go to this blockchain. Today we have more than 500,000 transaction inside of our testnet. We have more than 150,000 users inside of our testnet. And uh, we just start. We want to open the next week leaderboard. Leaderboard give to us opportunity to create like a competition to people who want to allocate first coin in September. But it's about blockchain. You know, Andre talked a lot about it. It's our foundation where we will collect our database about football players and about next athlete because we launched uh, one project in uh, Japan and uh, the second sport that we will allocate uh, in our athlete blockchain. What about football? You know, last five years, I was in a lot of events uh, that FIFA organized. FIFA have departments of web free development, where they invite good people who work there. And last five years, 
they speak about digitizing. They speak, speak about digital ID of football players, they speak about digitizing their uh, skills, uh, their success, their health. But they just speak. Five years ago, they speak, oh, it's amazing to create something digitized in football. Four years ago, they speak again about it, but nothing happened. Three years ago, nothing happened. <laughs> and maybe two years and a half ago, I'm with my team, we was really small, maybe 50, 50 guys, it's uh, whole our company. We decided to, that we should make first step. Yes, we are not from football, we are not from uh, this kind of sports, but we are smart. We guys are not afraid to do something and to do it first. Because my vision, if you want to win in some business, you want to be first. Uh, my grandfather said to me every time that, Dima, you should seven times think about something, only after you do it. It's like, oh my family, it's, uh, I don't know, it's vision of our country. Think, 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 and after they do something. One big guy from business, he have, I don't know how, how much billions, but uh, he tell me one thing three years, not three years, two years, now, seven months ago, the world change. Today, if you want to grow, if you want to have boost in your business, you should seven times do. Do a lot of mistakes, change it, and be first. Yes, you can lose a lot of money, <coughs> you can spend a lot of cost, but you will be first. And I check it one time, I check it another time, and you know it's work. It's really work. In IT developments, when you create some startups, when you go to market with your startups and you are first, you can play your game, you can give your rules your price, your value, everything. You are creative and nobody mm. else around you can say about uh, conference or something else. If somebody comes and want to buy and he didn't like your price of your startup, you say, come on, let's go and buy another place. But he didn't have any choice and to buy. And you start speaking about it. I do it one time, second time, third time, and I grow very huge business today. Uh, 17 companies, they work not only in uh, blockchain ecosystems, we work with a lot of projects, and it gives us opportunity to invite, like, uh, sell a lot of startups. We sell maybe in the last two years more than 35 startups. Yes, uh, we, are, we are create, no, not sell, we are create 35 startups, but we sell only 10 from them, 20 of them, they disappear, okay? Because, yes, we spend a lot of money, we lose this money, but in common, we win, because uh, startups that we are sell, it gives for us budget more than we uh, pay for everything. And this business work. And in blockchain sports ecosystems, we do the same. Uh, with, uh, in parallel, uh, where we grow our IT companies, we invite like the most experienced guy uh, in web three development, in AI development, in machine learning, and uh, it gives for us uh, opportunity to create amazing thing and to have very powerful team. And blockchain sports, it's ecosystem that collect a lot of technologies inside of these ecosystems. What we have, we have. Blockchain layer one, Atleta. Layer one blockchain, it's in, uh, like, I can say simple, it's the most technologically blockchain that you are can create. It's unique core, it's unique code, and uh, uh, you independent. You have everything inside of your blockchain. We are create a marketplace of football players. Earlier we say that it's an empty marketplace of football players, but we changed our thinking. We, we didn't want to say NFT marketplace because we integrate there more uh, technologies that NFT had before. We integrate computer vision system, we integrate uh, machine learning system, and today we name it digital ID uh, marketplace. What it means is marketplace where is, we can allocate uh, digital ID of every football players who train in our academy right now. 
This is the big goal for our blockchain uh, ecosystem. I want to uh, speak uh, a little bit about digital IT marketplace because uh, I want to show you potential, why it's so important. Blockchain at the end of layer one, it's like foundation where we collect all data. It's like bank of information. No? <laughs> Computer vision system, it's a bridge uh, from football players to our bank. And computer vision, it's a system that can understand in real time what happened in football fields and it doesn't matter if it's game or it's training. Uh, every football player who comes to these football fields, uh, he do some, for example, some training. And computer vision understand who is this player because computer vision knows his digital ID. And the digital ID with blockchain uh, collect all information about previous game, previous training, everything. Computer vision and uh, digital ID know information about his success, his speed, how many goals he made, uh, how many problems he have, what about injury. And we integrate more information about education, about his health, about uh, his uh, Psychologists things about psychologists we will speak uh, maybe after half years because we have developed uh, this part. Uh, it's, it's next step of blockchain sports ecosystems. And uh, it gives to us opportunity to show how these football players grow inside of this academy. Our free academy that we have today in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Central <coughs> and the Capiara, for us it's like first step, it's like examples where we want to integrate this type of technology. This technology we already use in our laboratory in Belarus and uh, we already know and can collect these metrics in real time in football fields. After one or two months, uh, when we will finish this technology, we will integrate it to our free football academy before September, because in September we will go to uh, public market. And we will connect uh, this technology with all football players uh, who will be training right now and who will come to us in the next few months. In September we will go to open market and give choice to people who like invest somewhere money, people like to invest money, you know, and the crypto market, web free market, it's a uh, market where people have a lot of risk, you know. Today this market more than three trillion dollars and people invest money everywhere. Somebody like Bitcoin, somebody like Ethereum, somebody like invest to airdrops, to Litecoins, to shitcoins, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, places where they can invest money. But this three trillion dollars, today they in Bitcoin, tomorrow they in Ethereum, day after tomorrow they in maybe Atleta. We try to do everything uh, to have it. And uh, three years ago we have bull market of NFT marketplace where people invest a lot of money to pictures. Yes, to monkey. So, <laughs> and it's happened and more than 700 billion dollars will invest to pictures. Yes, people believe in pictures, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and two years ago, 98% of these investments disappeared. Yes, and today people careful about pictures <laughs> because they lose a lot of money. But at the same time, they try to find a new door where is they can come and buy something. And today, crypto investors, they think more than they think five years ago when everybody buys something and it was like competition, you should be first. Today they think, today they uh, study about project, today they check a lot, today they have a lot of options to check, today they have a lot of lawyer companies. And uh, blockchain atleta and digital IT marketplace inside of this blockchain 
show to our community how it will work in September. One week ago, we go to testnet with our marketplace and uh, our website uh, already worked. Um, a lot of foundation come to us and start speak with us. Yes, because we are produce that we are marketplace where we will put football players, where is we will share it there some percentage of every football player. For example, we will take 30% of these football players, split to 1,000 pieces, and sell it like like NFT, okay, like digital card, but like NFT. $100, one hundred dollars, one NFT, one thousand. Uh, shares, it means that $100,000 we gather for these football players. Yes, this money will go to academy, this money will go to these football players, these football players have a choice to travel, for example, to Europe, to Asia, to Middle East, and show himself with help of our team, uh, with uh, Kevin, uh, with whom we open uh, in Dubai company, media company, and with his partner Felix Hulz, who come here today. Uh, Felix will be the main guy about football. Because you know, when I, when I start this business, uh, when I come to Open Academy, I make a lot of mistakes. I'm not from football. And, uh, and I know it, that if I, if I will go to do this business, I will do a lot of mistakes. Because seven times you need to t do something. Yes, and without mistakes you can't to do it. And when we grow, Kevin come to me with Felix and say, Dima, now you should stop uh, about uh, your thinking from football because you do a lot of mistakes. And a lot of people around say to me, and I know it, because I wait the time when Kevin come to me. Like when, uh, like not uh, especially Kevin, when somebody from football come to me and say, Dima, now give this job to me, to my team, I will take care about it. You should do your job about developments, about technology. And today it's happened. Last half years, Kevin checked everything what we have. We was in all our academy in Brazil. Uh, we meet with Ramari, with Zico, with whom we already signed the contract, the official contract with our uh, Dubai company that we are working with Kevin and Thorsten. And he was in Belarus in our office, he was in Moscow, he was in Dubai, he was everywhere, he checked everything, he was in my home, he met my parents, I met his parents. We check everything, we naked, you know, like... Uh... <laughs> and now, we 100% know that we want to move fast, because we didn't have any secrets, because my vision, take care of about my team, about my community, about my family, it's same like his vision. He want to take care about his family, he want to take care about his football family. And we connect, and today we are like big club. Where is all football size, take Kevin family and take care about it. All Football Academy and all Future Academy, all partnership, all football clubs, all transfers will be managed by his team, like the partners. Everything about developments will uh, managed by our team uh, from whole countries where we stay. What I wanted to say is that we come to level when we understand that all world needs us. Why? When we speak with young guys from favela, you know what it means? Why I put on this t-shirt? Because when I was in Rio de Janeiro, Kevin invited me with Romario to biggest favela. Uh, Rasinha, it's name Rasinha, it's 700,000 people who live inside of this favela. It's the biggest favela in Latin America. When I come inside, 
We meet with Leona and John John, it's our partners inside of this favela, and we already built inside of favela three football fields. Real three football fields, and we give opportunity to people who live inside to train, to show their skills, and we meet with main guy from favela, and he give to us a proof to take best players from favela to our academy. And this means, this, mean, uh, this is the brand of John John and Leona. They promoted last maybe three years. They create competition inside of favela. It's a championship uh, in Brazil. It means that plus one to school, minus one from crime. <laughs> Their vision is help to young guys change their life, go out from crime. It's very powerful vision, you know? When I saw it, I say, I need all t-shirts what you have. Please give it to me. I take it with myself to my country. I present it to all my guys. But it's more than just words. It's, it's energy, you know? Energy inside of favela. And when I was inside, when I meet all these young guys, I feel their energy. How they won't change their life how they want to help their family, how they want to go out from favela, show everything what they can in football fields, try to grow money, take their family and go out from favela with family. It's thinking of 99% of football players whom we invite from favela. And uh, in one, in, from one side, we help them change their life, from other side, we grow business because uh, all of them, <coughs> they want to train 24 hours per day. They want to train all weeks without any holidays and they, they fight for their success, they fight for their life. And most of people who train in Rio de Janeiro Academy, they are from Favela. Because we are creating competition inside of Favela, we invite them. But we connect to this competition our blockchain atleta, we are connect computer vision, we are connect all type of our developments and it's give to us big business. And when foundation come to our marketplace, I want to come back to this question, they say to me, Dima, you understand that it's more than just marketplace. I say, wow. Why, why, it's, why it's hard? They say, because, look, look for stock market. For example, stock market, Amazon, Google, Microsoft. How it's working? From one side, somebody have business. Elon Musk have Tesla, okay? Or Joe Bezos have Amazon. They have their rules, they manage their company, everything. But people who stay uh, separate from company, they like trade in stock market. They buy and sell. They read a lot of news. They see what's happening in the company. Somebody analyze, somebody have company, somebody have an analytics center, but what they do? They saw when company have some problems, they try to buy stock because its price is cheap. When they have success, they try to sell. It's business for traders. And uh, two biggest funds from Crypto, they say, Timo, you understand that we can create our stock market of Atlet. I say, one minute, let's, let's explain. And he said, look, you have 400 football players right now. Yes, we have direct investors who want to buy a share of these football players. It's simple. You buy it, you own this. When uh, football clubs transfer to these football players, if you have success, you have your profit. Simple. But they say, let's imagine if in this marketplace we have another community who don't want to buy uh, these football players, but who want to trade about his success and about his, uh, how say, it, loses and fails, for example. Yeah? And it's, it's like stock market, it's like trading 
it's like, I don't know, Forex, it's like, we, 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 we can name it uh, maybe trading platform of athletes. And when they see what we did, computer vision in real time can show results of football players. He played a game, I don't know, championship of state CRI in Brazil. And this football player is wearing right now $100,000, for example, because, you know, he made uh, 10 goals, he didn't have any injury. Like, he's a good guy for training and play. And in final of championship, he kicks the, kick the goal right now, in this moment. And he's where he grow up because he makes success. And people want in this time, especially in this time, buy or sell. And they say that, Dima, when you will go to first testnet and this system will work totally, please invite us. We have a lot of idea how we will connect our fund to make a like platform where people can trade it and buy and sell. But you know who said it for us? JP Morgan. I was meeting with them three weeks ago about it. JP Morgan. <laughs> Can come to us to Dubai. <laughs> Yes, they give a lot that guys you know from Russia, we are from USA. We need fast to change position, everything, create, <laughs> cut, 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 and it, 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 it. you are from Dubai. You are from, I don't know, Hungary. <laughs> yes, last, last three weeks we are creating a lot of job. And uh, our main team uh, about NFT marketplace right now are located in Dubai. And uh, we open a company, we open bank account, private account, everything. And the uh, next month we have big, big events with them. It's closed private event where it's come more than 20 people from USA to meet with us about this platform. They want to be exclusive partner of this platform uh, and they want to connect to us a lot of like analytic company who analyze uh, athletes. I speak about it first time here in stage because yesterday in night I have one meeting with guy who promote and support us with meeting uh, in meeting with Jupiter Morgan and he says that they approve that let's go because one problem that they have that I'm from I am from Belarus. Belarus same like Russia. And for business today it's not so good. And uh, but they know that I have already residents of UAE, I have residents of Brazil, I have residents of uh, Switzerland. I'm an international guy. And uh, <laughs> they say it's not a problem. We will we will protect, we will prepare everything, give it to us. But what's the main I wanted to say? That we have very huge, huge future. And uh, today I, I feel it, I know it, my team knows it, and that's why we never stop. This is about marketplace and why, why it's important. But Atleta is foundation, and Atleta gives this opportunity to, to us, to marketplace. How many times can speak? One hour? <laughs> okay. So, about. But how many times I have? <laughs> Good. Because I, 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 all, all time I... Okay, let's go. What is our main power? Our main power is people. People with big history, with big experience in their kind of job. We have people from football, like superstar. Kevin, Mario, Zico, 
Wesley Schneider, Materazzi, they're all in our family right now. We have big guy from developments in AI and Web3, from OpenAI, from Google, from Microsoft, we have guys. And it's big experience too. We have a lot of people from marketing. We have uh, a team from Marvel who work today in our production and preparing for us uh, a grand show, a reality show. Uh, not only from Marvel, but Marvel is the biggest name uh, in our production. My skill connects people. I like connect all of them because what I saw that 90 percent of people with whom I meet, they have huge experience, they have a lot of skills, but they can't use it. They can't use the, their connection, their networking, because they closed. And I like to take this guy, open him, and say, show everything what you can, connect with right people, and create I don't know, big machine. And today we have 1,000 people who develop amazing things. Atleta, digital IT marketplace, and blockchain sports XR, it's three biggest projects inside of our blockchain sports ecosystem. We will speak about Blockchain Sport XR. I, I will invite he, uh, Dimitri and uh, he will explain why it's so important. Right now I want to invite here Kevin. You ready? <laughs> family, it's best friends, and uh, it's people who, about whom you want to take care. My vision is same, and when I start explaining what I want to do, he feels that I explain about the same thing. And from November, without any money, without any contract, without anything, we start to grow everything what we have today what we have about football players, what we have about academy connection. All the connection from football, Romario, Zico, Materazzi, Schneider, Adebayer, uh, Edmondson, Adriano, Zico, the biggest. <laughs> Everything from this door. And I didn't think about go to anybody more and try to find more connection. No, I call Kim Kevin. We need this guy. It's okay. Okay, give me, give me one minute. 
he goes, hey bro, how are you? How is, how is our event somewhere? And he invited, right, invite. He tell to me that with this guy we didn't need to work. Because they think only about money. With this guy, we should work. Because they think about future, they think about football, they live. Yes, they finish their career, but they still live inside of football. Like, he says that his biggest friend is Wesley. Who is your biggest friend? Oh, I have a lot of friends. Okay, so friends of all. Yes, hello to everyone. Hey. I'm very happy to be in Budapest, you know, because my name is Hungary name. My grandfather was up from Hungary. So it's my first time here and I love this city because it's so beautiful, so clean and they have a lot of good people. So I am very happy to be here. Now I tell you the real story how we meet Vilima and why I like him so much. <laughs> I'm a really scary guy because uh, I have my football friends and guys who, who I play together, guys who I meet in the football. So we are a big football community. And when Dima, Dima came with his idea, uh, first of all that was like, okay, not sitting like a king, I was really like... <laughs> uh, but uh, the first feeling what I have for him was that he is a real guy, you know, a real guy who maybe don't know so much about football, but uh, he is from IT world. And when he showed me about his technology, when he started to talk about his plan for the future, he got me for the first moment. Of course, I was also on the start, I was saying, we will get money for this, true, really, but I say for him, okay, let's start, I have meeting with the guy from Limitless and, and it was really uh, very important for me to meet each other, to talk about everything and to find a way how we can work together, because he opened his door to his world and I opened the door to my world with football who I grew up with all my life. And in football I have, uh, I think, contact for the best players in the world. Today we have one here, Jens Lehmann, one of the biggest goalkeepers of the world. And in Japan we get Pico, who I think after Pele is uh, the second biggest player from Brazil. And how Dima say he make a lot of mistakes in football. So <laughs> he build it up. He make uh, really three academies in Brazil, who is getting really one of I hope the best in the world. And I bring my team to bring his knowledge about football, how we can work together, what ideas everyone has what we can introduce to blockchain sports and build blockchain sports with all the football knowledge and Dima's team and technology. So we together, uh, we are getting day per day better and I am very happy to be a part of this team and I'm very happy to work. It's not easy because I think I flying everywhere, my family is at home, my wife is calling me every day and saying, Kevin, where are you flying today? <laughs> Yesterday I was in Tokyo, two days before I'm in Dubai, now I'm in Budapest, tomorrow I'm in Germany, after tomorrow I get to Brazil to finish our biggest social project in the favelas. Uh, I think blockchain sport is not only doing uh, a good work with the football players, they are doing something social, who I think is very important for everyone to, to, to help the people who is poor, who then don't have the opportunity to, to get something in life. And also blockchain sport is doing something for the social in Brazil. And this is the point who I think everybody feels also good to give a kid who don't have to eat, who don't have maybe the opportunity to go to the school, 
and we are opening them a door where they can be something in life, where they can uh, study, where they can play football, and where they can learn about life. So, I think now I talk a lot. Today uh, arrived also another football player from Germany, David Odonko. He is also uh, coming to us. I have a, a, a very, very important uh, message for our Hungary community. Uh, we had yesterday an uh, amazing lunch with uh, the biggest football legend from Hungary. He's a record national player. I think the Hungary people know him, uh, Balas Zsuzsák. And he has a big message for us. So thank you for your time. Thank you that I can be here. First of all, I would like to welcome to my friends, to my partners, let's say, because yesterday we had a very good uh, discussion between each other, and I'm very happy to, as I said before, to join to Kevin, to Nima, to Blockchain Sports, to be part of this fantastic and honest family. And uh, what I can promise that uh, this project will be amazing. We can uh, share our uh, connection, we can share our dreams, we can share our uh, knowledge about football. To came to open uh, one branch of uh, IT from uh, blockchain sports, also to help with a lot of the best technologies uh, with uh, football academies. So hopefully uh, the next uh, months, the couple of uh, next weeks, there will be a lot of good news for, uh, for the Hungarian uh, talents. And I can guarantee that with these guys and a lot of uh, from us can uh, can build something special and uh, I think we will be a lot of promising in the future. Yes, and yesterday we had a big conversation and uh, what I can say is that this guy is really a smart guy because <laughs> he, he do everything fast and uh, <laughs> to open our branch and open uh, our branch of blockchain sports and our filial of Atom Global, it's uh, our IT development. We are uh, all together, like I am Kevin and Balash, we'll open it immediately. And uh, for Hungarian, it's really amazing. Yeah, for us, I think it's the most important to get the biggest legend from Hungary and his knowledge in uh, what you do in football will help blockchain sports to grow and grow and to be a bigger football family and uh, be the best. The best. So, see you soon. See you guys. See you. Thank you. Ich freue mich hier zu sein. Blockchain ist eine 
große Familie und ich freue mich, dass ich heute hier sein darf und meine Erfahrung, was ich über die Jahre im Fußball geschafft habe, äh, euch weiterzugeben. Uh, thanks for the invitation. He's really happy to be here and uh, he's looking forward to share his uh, experience, what he's gathered from his world, all his uh, time in football with the blockchain family and he's uh, very happy to be part of the blockchain family. So thank you very much. Guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for your coming.